All right, thanks to user NotPike, um, we now have the ability to use the Osmo network and the box scripts with uh, UHD, in this case, a B205 Mini. Uh, I've got uh, NotPike's GitHub page pulled up here, and I'm greatly appreciative of someone taking the time to add to Dragon OS. Uh, in this case, we have a fork of the Osmo network in the box scripts that uh, was tailored to you know work with uh, you can see uh, for for dragon os uh, and then what's been added is the dash d device here and then of course even if you don't have dragon os you can follow the directions and get this up and running uh, on something else but it's uh really easy in this case for dragon os to get this going all we got to do is copy and paste here and uh, again thanks to not pike here we're doing this uh, let's pull up another actually minimize this and if we change into our user source directory and we go ahead and use sudo to remove what is there for the network in the box scripts and we'll replace it uh, I'm using Dragon OS Focal R9 um, maybe in the future I'll just go ahead and include this but you can add this uh, uh, for, I don't know, the past few releases of Dragon OS Vocal and you should be fine. Let's go ahead and change into the Osmo Network in the Box Scripts folder. We'll take a look. I've got a B205 Mini plugged in. And we need to use sudo. We take a look at the main.py. You can see we've got that dash D for device now. Another window here, I've got another open source tool we'll use to take a look at the screen of an Android plugged in, in this case, uh, Galaxy S4. And I've been trying it out here. This over here. I've got another uh, Samsung Galaxy S3 sitting here. Both are on airplane mode. So, and because someone had asked about GRGSM or we're having some issues, I'll go ahead and show that as well. Let's at first, we'll just uh, show that we can use the UHD device. I won't make it interactive or anything yet. I'll just bring the BTS online and we'll go through this kind of quick here. It should be online now and we'll use I'm going to plug a HackRF in for a second. Oops. Okay. We'll use GRGSM uh, scanner. Take a look at its options. I want to do a dash B for GSM 900 and dash dash args. We'll specify the HackRF. We'll do dash V and dash D so we can see what's going on here. And it'll go through and it'll cycle uh, through the GSM 900. Shouldn't take too long. It'll probably be towards the end. We'll see something. I think it's going to be 955, uh, 955 megahertz, I think is the frequency. These are the same steps you would take if you wanted to get set up for like the MC Catcher script or the uh, GSM Evil 2. You can see there it's found two. I'm gonna, I know it's the 955, it comes up the 953 as well, but let's see if we do GRGSM scanner, we'll take a look at its options. Actually, sorry, LiveMon, take a look at its options. It's a little bit different, uh, not too much. We'll use the dash args, hack RF. We'll do the dash frequency and we'll do 955 megahertz. That opens this up. You can see it's already um, working. That's what you're looking for is this here scrolling past. And uh, then you could get your MZ catcher script that I've shown set up in the past in GSM and well, or GSM Evil 2. So, all right, you see that that's working. Let's kill that, and we'll shut this down for a second. 
I'm not too concerned with the uh, this closed network of uh, and the MZs that you may see um, because they're old throwaway stuff. But uh, let's see. We'll do. We'll make it. We'll make it interactive. And actually, let's first check the config.json file. You see, um, now Pike uh, set it up now where the extension is Dragon OS, and there's what it's saying by default. SMS is turned on by default. I'm going to also turn on uh, the call feature. This automates uh, when a phone connects what happens. So the phone will get a text, and then it will give a call. There's other things that you can do too in the auxiliary uh, after the fact, or if you didn't choose to make it interactive, you could um, you could see what extension a uh, phone gets, and then be able to do an uh, SMS broadcast to the extension. You can do spam. You can do a USSD code as well. But let's stick with the main features here. We'll do dash D UHD will make it uh, dash U for interactive. You could set up GPRS and the interface to uh, give the phone internet. Uh, sometimes I've seen that work, sometimes not. I'm to look at that a little closer and see how to make that more stable, but we'll just do text and calls first. So we'll set this back up. And actually, one second. Uh, let's, let's stop that a second. I'm going to unplug the HackRF because that's the one thing if you've got multiple devices plugged in UHD picks them all up and uh, doesn't really use the, the one that you want so now we've just got the V205 mini plugged in I'll just throw this right here not that big a deal and let's see let's see how this is gonna work I'll turn off the airplane mode on both phones And we'll give it a second. You can see uh, that was fairly fast. All right. Well, I've got a call and a text on the one. Uh, let me try this again. All right, there we go. We've got the text. And we've got the call. All right. So, all right. We can see that works. And what else can we try? Well, we've got this set up. You can see the extension numbers. Uh, so, let's take a look in the user source, Osmo. Network in the box scripts auxiliary. I'll remind myself again, SMS broadcast. So we need the extension and message. So let's see. Let's try 102. And there we go. And what else can we try? USSD broadcast, uh, US, uh, there we go. Okay, so, um, and then you can call, let's see, so that was one or two, you can call from one to the other. Um, if you didn't want to use the the automated um, stuff when uh, you connect, 
you just wanted to use it as a network. So I'm calling from 157 to 102. All right. And if you want to text uh, from one to the other, you need you would need to make a change here. Uh, figure this out. It's in the configs. If you uh, edited, um, depending on if you had eGPRS uh, on or off, you would uh, edit the OpenBSC.cfg or or this one, uh, OpenBSC eGPRS. Um, they're they're used depending on what options you select. If you go down to the bottom of the page or the file, and if you were to comment out from SMPP down to Osmocom extensions. Save the file. I won't take up your time here, but if you were to save the file, then run um, the BTS, you, it actually enables, uh, re-enables being able to text phone to phone. So you could um, use this uh, for just the purpose of spinning up a BTS really quick. Uh, you could change um, the, it's in the config files or uh, in, in some of the, um, let's see, probably in the main.py, somewhere in there you can change uh, the extensions to be longer than three digits, uh, but then that can interfere with how it's set up for asterisks. So um, it's, it's set up to, to get you uh, up and running as quick as possible. You could, um, like I said, you could just do non-interactive and then you could call phone to phone you could text phone to phone if you make that change i i mentioned and um yeah so there you go now you have uh, the ability to use um, uhd or edis equipment and um and then don't forget also in dragon os you have the newer uh osmocom uh, split apart feature that I've shown in the past as well. If you wanted to use the HLR and enter uh, MZs to get connections, and if you chose to use it uh, split apart from network in the box, that's in there as well. All right, uh, I, think, uh, I think that's it. Again, thanks to the user here, not Pike. Appreciate it. All right, take care.